Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Kayla B. You know, when I'm coming at you with another video. Yes, another video. This is basically like a get ready with me plus reviews. Basically, me just, you know, sharing my thoughts about the products and getting, doing my face, basically doing my makeup. I am a makeup artist. I got my certificates and yeah. So I've been doing freelance makeup. Also, got a job. Stuff is looking good. Stuff is looking good. I'm still a student. I'm still going to school. So, yeah, that's enough about me. Um, this is Kayla B. If you don't know who I am, that's who I am. I do unboxings, reviews, and basically I just talk a lot. I talk a lot. Anyways, let's get into this with the first product, which is eye primer. Eye primer. It's the Alamar Cosmetics um, eye primer. Let me just get it. It's the Petal Primero Primer Longwear Sticky Base, Pigment Base. This is what it looks like. It's just like a pink tube with like a purpley pink top. I put it on with this. I realized that that just makes it even because if you put too much onto the eye, it can actually hurt eyeshadow more than anything because it is a sticky base like when it says sticky base it's a sticky base like you just need a little bit and a little bit goes a long way as you can see by me just like tapping it out and it dries very very quickly so you have to work it around the eyes but it works so great after blended like it works like extremely great but you always have to make sure that your eye primer is blended to perfection before you put on a base because if it's patchy then your eyeshadow is going to look patchy and I tried this out and the eyeshadow that I did the first time I used this did look patchy because I didn't know how to blend it out before it dries because it dries really fast but I use a fluffy brush and a fluffy brush is better than a finger because a finger makes it like boom bam poo and it doesn't like it just makes it feel heavy on the lid because that's like more of the product on your lid than it's supposed to be so it just like makes your eyelid heavy which you do not now it is completely blended and it's almost dry this one has more than this one but it really doesn't matter as long as it it's not patchy that's the thing you don't want it to be patchy this retails for 15 dollars, and also it's a water-based eye primer that's supposed to glue eyeshadows into place and it actually does when it's blended right if you do not blend it right then it's horrible um but it did help me with my other palettes that i um do not like like the lime crime palette it actually worked it actually helped the lime crime palette i don't know why everybody likes it i think i just got a bad batch it could be that it could be that it could be that i got a bad batch I'm using the um, Ofra Cosmetics palette and also I'm going to have another palette if I can find it. Where's my other palette? Oh, here it is. I have like a whole box of like makeup right next to me. It's like my filming makeup. I'm using the Fenty Beauty 7 palette. Let me open that up. Because it could have been a... Nope. Mm, no I'm gonna use this shade right here it's like a terracotta diarrhea brown shade no I should just put it like that I'm just gonna wow do you see that this always came up patchy and it just like blended into my eyeshadow like it just blended into my skin into my eyeshadow it blended into my skin and like i couldn't see it it was like really ashy but this is like less ashy putting it on the primer wow 
wow and i'm just gonna dip into that shade right there in the fenty palette and i'm just gonna mix those two together for like the brow bone slash uh beginner crease shade oh i like that i like that a lot okay okay we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere okay I'm gonna do the other eye. Well, cause I really don't like Ofra shadows. I tried them, this, and I don't like it. It just doesn't work with my eyes. I need a base all the time. So it's like, okay, Juvia's Place, Ofra Cosmetics, Lime Crime. You're the only ones that I've tried, that I've tried. Oh, and Ace Beauty that I need a base. I can't just wear it on my eyes and that's it. Cause I really like to just wear stuff on my regular oily or sometimes matte um, eyes. Sometimes I just put powder if my eyes are really that oily and I just put the eyeshadows on. And I, good eyeshadows last the whole day. I don't need a base, but other eyeshadows, that I don't like, that's not my preference. Again, that's my preference. They need a base. And those are the ones that need a base and those are ones that I just don't like to work with. If I have to, if a client asks me for that, I do know how to work with them. But the thing is, do I want to work with them? No. Uh, should I go for the red? I'm just gonna take that bronzer right there and I'm gonna use that as a crease shade. Mix it in with the khaki right here. And I'm just gonna go underneath the other colors. Oh, wow, that is actually pretty. Oh, wow, everything is going smoothly. And I like that. Because without this primer, I cannot, cannot work with this palette. Like, that's how bad it is. But I am using Fenty Shadows, which is, like, okay. But it's, like, better than Ofra's, to be honest, for me. For me, that's, that's, that's my opinions. Other people... Um, be like, oh, well, I always use the eye primer base, so I don't need it. Or it works for my eyes. Okay, your eyes are not my eyes. This is my opinion. What works for me is what works for me. It might not work for you. And then also stuff that worked for me, stuff that doesn't work for me might work for you. So it's like makeup has its own mind of it. Like, it has a mind of its own. Everybody has an opinion and everybody has a different face. Everybody has a different skin complexion. Everybody has a different um, skin concerns. So it's like, and everybody has different skin. Some has oily, some have combination, some have dry, some have normal. Like, it's like, it's all different stuff, okay? Mm. Trying to figure out what shade I can do to deepen it up. Should I deepen it up? Mm, should I? I'm gonna I'm go into the navy blue. I'm gonna see if I can work that in a little bit. Yeah. Just a little to define the outer corner just a little like I felt my hair right here I don't like that feeling when I could feel like my hair right there Ooh, I don't like that am I like the only one that could like if you have hair and like you just put it up but you could feel like the edges you could feel like everything coming down I hate that Ew, it's blowing out really nicely. It really is. Okay. Going back into that army green type of khaki shade to go over it a little bit so it could blend with the other stuff. Perfect. 
so yeah so what I just do is uh, I just blend it out with a fluffy brush and it becomes perfect but it's like with a clear primer like the Urban Decay one Urban Decay, the clear one, the potion one that you really don't have to like use a fluffy brush or make it blend out perfect but like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one that's like white pigment yeah you do have to blend it out I would blend it out with a fluffy brush too it's like you know what you need to do with certain stuff so it's like you can't go wrong you can't go wrong I don't know which brown I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use the one in Fenty palette and then use the one in the offer palette for uh in a corner shade oh yes do you not see that do you do you, do you not see that gorgeousness right there oh i love I, I used to not really love shimmer but now i love shimmer do you not see that <sighs> i haven't used this fancy palette in so long it was like one of my favorite like go-to palettes. It was like gonna replace my other ones, and then Natasha and Ona came in my life, and Natasha and Ona replaced the Huda and Fenty ones, and I haven't seen the little suits. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Okay. Wait, I have to do a lower lash line with the blue navy shade. Either I didn't put primer on the bottom. Some people put primer on the bottom so the bottom stays. I'm not one of those people because I really don't like bottom. But when I do my my liner, it like kind of just like holds it in place. One of these days, I'm going to teach you that trick. One of these days, I'm going to teach you that trick. Oh. Okay. So, I'm taking the bronze shade that's in this palette. Wow. That's like a lot. I'm taking that and putting that in the inner corners. Whoa. That right there. That's gorgeous. And I'm doing a little bit on speaking a little bit on the lid wow that's gorgeous that is gorgeous i'm about to go into the fancy ballet that's my um little trick how i get everything cohesive with the look sprinkle some of the inner corner shade onto the lid shade so it like mixes well together and I really I like that oh I like that oh that's like pretty bronzy look right there look at that that's beautiful okay now onto the face Okay, primer is on. Now the next thing is $14. This is I Am Magic Concealer by Juvia's Place. This is supposed to be a full coverage blendable concealer. It's not full coverage like Huda Beauty. Full coverage or I heard um, Jua full coverage or I've heard. Again, I haven't tested this out. D or KVD Vegan Beauty full coverage but it's almost full coverage not like painting your face like it's gone per like period um this was supposed to be a radiant creamy formula which it is it is blendable which I love and also I just love carving on my eyeshadow because if you put like 
too much of the inner corner shade. Just cover that up with some concealer. And I love it's a long wearing time. It stays on, but not for like ever, you know? It, it, I, well, when I wore it, I found out like it stays on the eight hour mark. It doesn't like, I mean, it creases, which you're gonna have creases, but it doesn't go past that after like a good nine hours. Then it started getting like dry and crinkly with the powder that set, and it's just, it's new, new, no, 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 no. Um, would I buy this again? No, but I would buy their foundation again. I really don't use concealer that much. I usually just use foundation over my face. Um, and if I want to contour, I use contour with powders. So that's basically how I do my face. Uh, but I will use this. I will keep on using this. It's very cheap than other concealers because my favorite concealer is Huda Beauty Concealer. That's $30. $30 for a concealer. But that's like full coverage, full coverage. That's like if I'm going somewhere, like I have it stocked up, like yeah, yeah. This is good for 24 hours, made in the USA. Um, yeah. Our, it says our Magic Creamy Radiant Concealer. It is creamy and it is radiant, but after it dries, it's matte, smooths, and cancel out dark circles. It does blemishes. I don't know about that. Skin imperfections. I don't know about that. It depends on how um, pigmented and, you know, rare. Is that the right word? I don't know if it's the right word. Um, your your condition is. But yeah, so I'm going to just put the foundation. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. And, and I mean, it's 91WR. And this, I am in the shade Concealer 6. It just goes with my skin tone. It's like more of a neutral shade. And I love that this is more of a red shade. They don't really have neutral shades. Hmm. Oh. I forgot how um how um liquidy this foundation is. <laughs> I literally have to like bring it all over. Okay. It's good. I should have shaked it up. Does it say shake it up on this? Nope, it doesn't doesn't yeah it just says flexible foundation okay it's dripping so I'm gonna just blend all this stuff in oh yes look at that just look at that just gorgeous It blends so well with other foundations. I haven't found a foundation that it doesn't blend well with, to be honest. The concealer. Like it just blends so well. Do you not see how great that looks? And how like hydrated my under eyes look. Like it looks like really hydrated. Huh, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take some powder and just set the under eyes. <sighs> That's what I've been doing. I've just been setting the concealer and everything else. Just let it just chill and have it smell. And I'm setting it with some banana powder. From Ofra, it smells a little bit like bananas. I kind of like this powder. 
It has a tint. I mean, it's great for brightening. That's what the tint is for. But everywhere else, I'm just gonna put um, my um, contour, blush, all that extra stuff, and let it be. But that's what it is. It looks smooth. It doesn't have that dry effect yet, but like, <laughs> give it, give it, give it like eight hours, maybe six, it's gonna have that dry effect, which is crazy, which is crazy. Um, I never found out that a radiant concealer can be really dry under the eyes and look like desert sand after, you know, hours. Usually it just like fades away and then, you know, it looks better this doesn't <laughs> so i'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we're gonna come with the last product that we're gonna talk to well, that i'm gonna talk to you about okay for my face i used the tammy x revolution palette and also for the highlight i used that ofra highlight in the ofra palette but um the last thing we're gonna talk about is house laboratories brow and lash topper this right here this was not what i expected not at all what I expected. So I'll just show you on my lash because I am not touching my brows with this. Um, but this retails for eighteen dollars. Just supposed to give like your lash and your brow a little umph. So I'm just gonna put some mascara on my lashes on one eye. It's gonna take a while. Okay, <sighs> topper is on. Ooh. Add some of my primer on my hand, but yeah, so it's just with like a, a little sparkle to the lashes, like you could barely see it unless you're like up close in person. You saw how it turned my lashes like grayish dark brown, like grayish dark black, too actual black it doesn't give any lift it just gives a little sparkle a little coat is just a topper I think that this is like useless like you could use this as a base and put all of your eyes if you want to like a smoky look that's gonna last long because this really lasts long. Or if you want, you see that? Just for like a little bit more of a sparkle. Or if you want like a very long lasting, yeah, like a long lasting smoky yeah, eye or a long lasting like gel liner for like a wing with a little bit of sparkle. That is also what this is good for. Or if you just want like a little bit of sparkle on your lower lash line. But this is really, it really doesn't show. It doesn't show unless it's on your brows, to be honest. That's when it shows. Should I put a little bit on my brows? Or is this like enough? Because I feel like this is enough. Okay, so I put it in my brows. So you can see it, you see that little flex. It's just a little something extra. Also, I made my brows darker because I don't have black hair. I have like dark brown hair, like black brown hair. So I get away with this if I do it lightly, which I did. And yep, yeah, so that's it. That's the look. It goes with my cheetah, cheetah, cheetah suit. And that's it for today. Um, this is not necessary at all. And $18 for this is a no-go. It doesn't do anything besides top it. I mean, that's, that's what it's designed for. So it should be like $5. $5 in shipping. That's what I would pay this for. Because it's literally just sparkle. Just sparkle. Why pay $18 for this? Um, and then this is a really good, um, eye primer, eye base. It helped with all my horrible, well to me they're horrible, eyeshadow palettes, 
but um when i repurchase this probably not because i do not like using eyeshadow primers i do not like using eyeshadow base i like using concealer as base if i cannot use a concealer as base or just put it on my eyelids or my client's eyelids i do not like the palette and i just throw it out unless i'm like filming it and everything else i'm using it up and blah 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 but i usually just empty it out you know this you see my declutters i should just like let it go because i do not have time for those palettes like the light crime palette the clutter it's already it's already ready to be decluttered like the declutter video when i get more stuff to declutter like that that's that's gonna be gone <laughs> that um if it didn't have that highlight in it it would have been gone already the over palette like seriously 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 you guys already know my opinions on those the concealer you guys know my opinion it's okay concealer it's not the best not my huda beauty concealer i always like compare if it says full coverage i compare it to a huda beauty concealer and this is not huda beauty okay i mean this is radiant but still no it's not even radiant like nars creamy concealer because that one would not be creasing it's not creasing yet but you can see that it looks dry it looks dry under my eyes. It looks dry. It looks dry. And that's because of this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video. It'll be a video right here, a video right here. My head will be right here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And that's it for this video. It's a long video. It's been a long road long road whoo uh rose